How's it going everybody? My name is Droganik. Welcome to a brand new video. We are back once more on Tarn RSPS with a brand new video. This one is going to be a little bit different than our usual videos. I think the first one we did was just like a server tour. We've been doing mostly streams on Tarn, but this time around I figured I'd show off a couple more things for the server. Oh god, I actually I don't think we have a giveaway for this video. To my knowledge right now we don't. But if we end up having one, I'll post up right now for editor me to add in if we end up getting a giveaway for this video. But if not, I do apologize. But without further ado, let's just dive into the video. Say hello to Drag Open. This is a lovely RMN account that's been souped up for us, ready to go by Corrupt himself. So appreciate your brother. But essentially, if you couldn't tell by the name already, if we go up to our lovely bank, we have all kinds of goodies to go over today. We got Sir Packs 1 to 3. We got Enhanced Packs, Ticket Packs, Donator Caskets up to Ultimate. We got Limited Masters. We got an Ultimate Cert Pack, Ash to Firebox, Death Box, Tired Master Chests, Rare Perk Tokens, some perfect raid cards, and one AFK ticket. That's not supposed to be in there. But essentially the goal of today's video is basically to show off all the packs, show you what you can get from them, basically what you're expecting from opening up this amount of boxes. So if you end up grabbing yourselves a few donator chest twos, this is kind of what you can expect from it. Obviously everybody's RNG is different and maybe you can see for the near future, if you end up pulling any of these juicy lutations, what you can get your hands on. So start off with stuff that's like kind of mediocre and then we'll dive into the good stuff. So of course, let's look at these rare card twos. And the tier two ones just have your common stuff, your yellow party hats, you know, your usual stuff. But over here, you have a Mystic Halloween, Universal, Skyrocket, Velvet, Leafy, and Hellfire. Obviously, if you match through the same item, you win. Now, on my main account, I have never been ever so lucky to land anything good from these cards. Always land doubles. Wow, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Our fourth one, we get a green party hat. But I swear to... Okay. I can't stress to you how many of these we've opened on my main account and we haven't gotten shit. So I think this account is rigged. And unfortunately, we're not going to be able to keep any of these. But I mean, it is okay. I guess it's a pretty good start off though. Hey, green party hat, blue party hat. It is on the common reward side, but still it's a cosmetic and it looks pretty dope. So these ones are going to be a little bit different. As you can see, the rare ones that we have in the last tab are now over here as commons. And the new rare rewards are the same thing. But now we got Santa hats. So let's have a look at our RNG and see if we can pull some juice from this side. So far, I think not. We hit two commons on the last one. I think that just pissed away all of our RNG. Ooh, that was actually really fucking close. Okay, we get two doubles, so we get 20 more tokens. All right. The commons for these ones are going to be now the party hats, but the rares are the lava party hat, water, fire, hell, universal, velvet, and thunder. Well, there's our first two piece. That's another two piece. It's another two piece. Holy fuck, man. Another two piece. Another two piece. Wow. Another two piece. Damn, six out of ten on two pieces, but obviously no matches. Next, what will show up is these lovely rare perk tokens. So essentially with these, obviously you open them up and you get perks, which you can put on all your gear slots right here. Basically, the big juices that you're looking for here are the AOE perks. You have the multi-kill perks, which the multi-kill perk is going to help you a lot when it comes to completing your tracks. As you can see, you got to kill a lot of bosses. So obviously if you kill one Avalon with the multi-kill perk, It'll be like you're killing three so it's very beneficial obviously you want the aoe whether it just be the regular aoe perk or i think it's firewall is what it's called you would like to get the double xp perk there's obviously drop rate perks you can get as well there is triple cash perk which is another one that's probably a good stable for you to get and then obviously like some filler ones like i said drop rate whatnot that you'd want to pick up as well but without further ado we'll pop these open double cash is not bad but we can get a triple one Double cash again. AoE. Ooh, it's only the 1%. That's kind of unfortunate. So I believe that's the 4x4. Four four. I could be totally wrong. Multi kill for a bonus of 2. So this is what I mean. So if I equip this for an example, if I equip it on my chest piece now, when we go kill a mob, it's going to turn 1 kill into 3. So it's very beneficial for our tracks. Damage boost with the bonus of 1. That's good, but I think you can get a damage boost with a bonus of 2 multi-shot with the bonus of two 
Again, this one just makes it so you attack more frequently. It's not an AoE, unfortunately, but you hit your target three times. We got multi-kill with a bonus of two again. Double Slayer tickets. That's also not a bad one to get if you plan on grinding lots of Slayer. Multi-shot with a bonus of three. That's pretty good. I don't know if you can get any higher than that. But that's pretty fucking bussin'. And we get another double cash. Very good. We had some pretty good pulls when it came to the perks. All right, I figure now we'll get into the certificate packs. Let me grab a tier one, twos, and threes. Uh, looks like we're missing a couple of the certificate packs, but that's completely okay. I'm pretty sure if we open this, it's just gonna put the items in our inventory. So let me just see if we have possible loots. Uh, here we go. So let's find ourselves the cert pack one. So as you can see, we get the helmet certificate, necklace certificate, body certificate, and the leg certificate, which obviously unlocks the second equipment slot. So we bust that open right now. We get necklace certificate. So now when it comes to this button right here, switch, we can have two different gear sets. And now we're able to use the necklace. Open up another one. We got legs. We got body. We got body again, which there's no point. We don't need to claim it again. And we got a second body. Certificate pack two. We'll net ourselves the boots, the halo, the cape, ribbon, and aura. Let's have a look. Boots, cape, boots again, aura, and aura again. Cert pack three. Lance yourselves the gloves, gemstone, arrow, shield, enchant, and ring certificate. Gemstone, enchant, and ring. The ultimate certificate pack, which I don't see it here, but we'll bust it open. And it looks to just give us one of everything. Well, shit. Next up, we have our enhanced pack three and our ticket pack three. So enhanced pack three, you can expect to get yourself some stardust and blue, purple and blue crystals, which if you don't know, they're used for enchantment for upgrading your gear slots to net yourself more drop rate, cash, and stats. So from Hands Pack 3s, we land ourselves just shy of 2,500 Stardust and quite a healthy amount of gems. I would have preferred some more yellows in this scenario, but we'll need the purples for later on. We have our Ticket Packs. Ticket Packs, if we come over here, Ticket Pack 3s, you, we can expect up to 25 double drop tickets, 25 drop rate tickets, and 10 hybrid of drop rate and double drop. So from our five ticket pack threes, we land ourselves quite a healthy amount actually, 53 double, 32 regular, and 33 hybrid. Now we're getting into the juicy stuff. So we got our donated box one, two, three, and we got our lovely ultimate donator. Donator chest one. We're looking at a one in five for tokens. We can get a hands pack ones, ticket pack ones. We can upgrade to a donator chest two or three. It is very possible. We can land ourselves perk tokens, common perk tokens, rare perk tokens, $10 bonds, blue and deep blue sweets, which are food, a one in 50 for pet fragments, or supreme shards. With these supreme shards, when you're upgrading your enchant slots, you have a chance to fail it and revert yourself back a level. These Supreme Shards make it so if you fail, your level does not revert. So it's very beneficial to be having these in your inventory while you're doing your enchant upgrades. But let's see what we pull ourselves. <laughs> Straight from the get-go, three Supreme Shards, common perk tokens, more Supreme Shards, two enhanced packs, and a $10 bond. Excellent, they will open up the enhanced packs. And that's what we get from those. Now we move on to tier two, which is basically the exact same stuff, but on crackhead mode, we got enhanced pack two, ticket pack two. We got just common and rares now. And here is where we get into the infinite overload, prayer potion and healing potion. Honestly, the infinite overload is by far very, very good. And hopefully when you're opening these lovely packs, you have better luck than I and uh, actually get an overload. But we got two ticket pack twos, which land us a healthy amount of double drop tickets. Now, donator chest three. We're looking at a shit ton of tokens, enhanced and ticket pack threes. We got rare po we got sorry, we got rare perk tokens, $10 bonds, limited master one chest. Hopefully you can land one of these. You get a premium ticket for the season pass, 30 transfer crystals, infinite healing pot tier three, infinite prayer pot tier three, and infinite overload tier three. This is the big giga chad juicer. With these being a a, a more later chest, I won't spend a quick open. We'll just do big opens. Okay, enchanted pack three. 75,000 tokens, okay. Take a pack three. 30 more transfer crystals. And lastly, we land ourselves two more enhanced packs, which those 
with a spam on them. And that's what we have. Finally, we have the ultimate donator chest, which is a 1 in 10 for 125k tokens, 2 for a 1 in 3 limited masters, 1 in 20 for 5 threes, 1 in 6 for 10 twos, 1 in 5 for 15 ones, 50 rare card ones at a 1 in 14 drop, 1 in 2 for ticket pack 3, 1 in 2 enhance pack 3, both with a quantity of 15, 1 in 100 for the ultimate cert pack, which is what we opened earlier, which gives us one of each slot, 3 premium tickets for your season pass, 1 in 10. 1 in 33 for 50 sweets, 1 in 10 for 200 drop rate and double tokens, 1 in 100 for a $100 bond, and 1 in 10 for rare perk tokens. Let's get into it. That's a pretty fat pull. 10 donator chest twos. <gasps> Two limited master one boxes. That's hot. Ooh, 125k tokens. Oh, I totally thought it was a hundred dollar bond bro fuck and there we go we got ourselves another ultimate cert pack which is one in a hundred which is the same rate as the bond so we'll bust open these ticket packs or ticket packs and ourselves quite a healthy amount of those we'll probably spam open these tier twos or maybe we'll hold on to them because i guess they were loot from rare perk tokens enhance packs and an infinite healing pot tier two which if you're me You'd be crying because it's not an overload. And then from the tier three, we get 75k tokens. Big Sag. These limited master boxes are guaranteed ruthless gladiator pieces, which I believe are third best melee right now. Third best in slot. And as you can see, we're guaranteed a piece when we open it. There's no filler items, no bullshit. So let's bust one open. First one being, ooh, ruthless gladiator body, ruthless gladiator legs, ruthless gladiator gloves. No dupes yet, which is very good. Ruthless Gladiator Boots. Wow. We going for a whole set here? Give us the weapon and it's off. Ah, there's our first dupe. Not too, too bad. I'll show you the stats on these as well. They're kind of fucking insane. And as you can see, 48 mil melee just for wearing these four single pieces. Next on our list is the five Asta Fire boxes. These, again, are guaranteed Asta Fire pieces. This is the second best in slot melee gear. Oh, imagine we started off with the fire sword. If we can actually pull one, I'll show you what it looks like. And yeah, it's actually a really busting sword. Well, there you go. I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. As the fire gloves. As the fire gloves again. And lastly. As the fire legs again. We got a lot more dupes this time around. But as you can see, just from these gear pieces alone. As the fire sword looks pretty bussin the second last item we're going to be showing off is the death box the death gear that this box gives out is the second bis armor all around because it is actually a tribrid set i say that but where is it to here the death pendant and the death ring wherever that might be these actually aren't better than the vip necklace and the vip ring they are for defensive stats but for offensive the VIP stuff is a lot better. So let's bust open these. And hopefully we can get the sickle. Oh my fuck. Okay, so we get the ring. We get the death head. Oh, ah, uh, we got the death bow. Fuck. Death pendant. Wow, we got two of the shitty pieces. The pendant and the ring. That's okay. That is a-okay. As long as we can end it with a scythe. I'll take a death body. So if we have a look at our lovely stats here with the tribrid pieces, death pendant and death wings, as you can see, it boosts all three. Death head, death body. Damn, okay, that's actually pretty bustin'. And a death bow, oh, 575 mil damage. Damn, looking pretty sexy. We keeping this on right now. And lastly, we have ourselves the Tyrion Master Chest, which of course gives us the Tyrion pieces, which are best in slot. You can see we got the Tyrant Staff, Blade, Sorcerer's... Wait, Sorcerer's Hood? What? It must be a glitch. Obviously, I want to try to land ourselves the Blade or the Bow. Obviously, the weapon being pretty fucking bussin'. But these are the top tier. Gives you best in slot. Let's have a look. Give us a weapon... Ah, fuck. Let's turn body. Let's do another. Give us a... Tyrant Helm. Okay. 
And lastly, give me a turn blade. Turn legs. Okay, I fuck with it. That's fine. We'll see how drippy this stuff is over the uh, other stuff. What the fuck? Put us from 575 mil to 1.6 bill for one piece. Rebill. And 5.2 bill. Damn, these turn pieces are no fucking joke. Well, this is our final spoils after opening up all those boxes. We got ourselves 300k tokens, which is not too, too bad. Quite a few perks. We got a multi-shot, multi-kills, double slayer tickets. I don't think we got a double XP one, which is kind of unfortunate, but we did grab ourselves an AOE, which is pretty solid. A lot of certificates for opening up your second gear slot. Got ourselves quite a healthy amount of Stardust along with gems to get our enhancements on our gear slots. A pretty good stack of uh, drop rate, double drop rate tickets. Gear wise, we did pretty good with almost not getting any dupes on our Ruthless Gladiator pieces. Asta, we kind of got cucked. We got ourselves two dupes, but we did get the Fire Sword, which is a pretty cool item. Death pieces, we didn't land any dupes, which is pretty sick. And the same thing with our turn. We got a Helm, Body, and Plate Legs, which is pretty fucking bussin'. We got a tier 2 healing pot, which is kind of sad. Oh, we can't forget our blue and our green party hat from our scratch tickets. I can't fucking stress to you how many of those tickets I've opened up on my main account, and I've yet to get shit. So I'm a little salty that we kind of pulled something on this little opening video. Of course, if you're looking for any of the boxes we've opened today, you can find them over here in the donator shop with plenty to go around, all the way up to that Tyrant Master we were just talking about. But be warned, it is 10,000 fucking donator points. While, you know, the death box, which is second base, is only 1,400. So, you know, gamble wisely. Also, if you didn't know, as long as you stay logged in to turn, as long as you're AFK, Corrupt does do giveaways, like a give all to people during the day. I usually hang out here AFK, and sometimes I'll come back to my client and I'll have bonds in my inventory. Sometimes I'll have donator boxes in my inventory. So it pays off to kind of just go AFK if you don't plan on playing turn. I always do, so I always come back to my client, which lots of goodies in my inventory. But that's going to be it for my video right now. I appreciate you guys tuning in and checking out the video yourselves. And hopefully I'll see you again soon on Turner SPS. But until then, I'll see you next time.